if you are going to do a person's makeup, this is how much we pay you. It's never below, it's never above, it doesn't matter who it is, this is how much we pay you. So that when they were booking me for these award shows out of state, they came to my agent and were like, it will be this much to do makeup, then the next week, this much to do makeup. And I was like, okay, well, obviously then also flights, hotel, and all of that stuff, right? No, nothing, no travel, no hotel, nothing. They just wanted me to pay to fly, get myself in a hotel. Baby, so much to talk about with this one. Remember I told you guys how when you're styling a client for a network television show or a movie, there is a set rate and it's usually not that much. And it's basically, here's the rate, take it or leave it. When someone has, let's speak about myself, like we're stylists, but it's clearly in all of the glam industries. When you have someone for a press junket for a TV show or, or a movie, the rates are pretty low. So when you see someone with about three or four clients for one television show or one movie, sometimes they're getting paid like $7.50 all in. I, get, I made a post about this. Do you remember that, guys, right? But let's discuss how they wanted her to fly in on her own dime. What that is called in the industry is working as a local. A lot of productions will ask you, hey, I'm shooting a film in Atlanta or, you know, New Jersey, New Orleans. Can you work as a local? And what that means is, can you fly yourself there? And do you have a place to stay? and you will get paid, but your housing and your travel is on you. That makes sense for a film or a television because you're gonna shoot about four to six weeks, um, sometimes even longer. So you're gonna end up making so much more in the end. And you're gonna make a lot of new friends, new networks, new contacts. And that's important in this industry is to having networks and contacts so you can get more jobs. But for one glam event, absolutely the not. And what's worse is there are definitely some glam who would do this because they want to get the look of whatever celebrity that is? And listen, I'm not knocking anybody for trying to build up their book, but when you have people that are trying to fight for a fair wage, and then you have some people that just going against it for the clout and the hype, we're all losing in the end.